My message is that we need to vote yes in Scotland, not as an end in itself, but to give ourselves the powers we need to tackle the big challenges we face as a country. How we get our economy growing faster and more sustainably, how we grow our working age population, how we protect our public services and protect the welfare state and how we close the gap between rich and poor. And the policies that are being offered for more powers by other parties fall short of what Scotland needs to tackle those challenges because they would leave the majority of taxes, welfare, immigration, employment policy, all in the hands of Westminster. So the only way to guarantee the powers we need in Scotland is to vote yes. Well, if we have powers over tax and employment, we can get our economy growing faster and more sustainably. If we have power over immigration and control over spending and revenue, we can help uh, through a transformation in childcare and a immigration policy suited to our needs, we can help grow our working age population. If we have powers over welfare, we can protect people from the worst impacts of the uh, cuts in welfare uh, being imposed by the Westminster government. And if we have power over the minimum wage, we can start to close the gap between rich and poor. These are powers we need, not for their own sake, but for the purpose of making Scotland a better place to live.